Are you in the market for a rebounder but not sure which one to get? I promise I can help you because as you see, I've tried so many different brands of rebounders. I have also been a rebounding fitness instructor since I was 18 years old. So I promise I know what to look for when it comes to a rebounder and I'm going to share my honest thoughts with you on each of these brands, telling you the prices and which is best for you when it comes to your goals and your rebounding journey. Let's get into it. My name is Sydney and I am the founder of Jump and Jacked. Jump and Jacked is an online fitness platform that focuses on rebounding workouts and making fitness enjoyable. If your first question is, why should I even buy a rebounder? There are so many reasons. Rebounding is such a fun way to work out. When it comes to fitness, if you wanna see results, the key is enjoying the process so that you stay consistent. And when it comes to consistency, that is how you see results. It becomes a lifestyle change. It's something that becomes sustainable. There are no quick fixes here. It's all about changing your mindset, falling in love with movement and working out for your mental health first, and then the results will follow. I personally believe that rebounding has helped myself do that because I truly love working out every time now when you get to jump on a mini trampoline for a workout to the beat of the music. What could be better than that? So now let's get into rebounders. So I have tried so many different brands and I'm going to go over each one of these. There are a lot of other brands out there, but when it comes to rebounding, I personally recommend looking for bungee cords. So a lot of rebounders are made with springs, but bungees I find are much lower impact and they're less noisy. So if you're in an apartment, bungees are perfect for you because if you're using a spring rebounder, you'll start to hear all that noise and squeaking, whereas bungees are silent. Another thing I highly recommend looking for is just the width of your rebounder. I recommend anything over 40 inches just because for our workouts we like to do a lot of side to side moves or like dancing and stuff like that so that way you just have enough space that you're not worried about falling off. But if you're short on space then you can also get the smaller ones like this one for example folds and it's smaller so it's easier to store away but you'll still be able to do all of the moves you're just gonna have to keep your steps a little closer. Let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to go from lowest price rebounder to highest price rebounder. So first we're gonna start with the B can. So B C A N rebounder. One thing that is amazing about this one is it is easy to put together. So I put together lots of rebounders and some of them can be such a pain that I would hate for you to order a rebounder and you're so excited, but then it's so hard to put together that you feel defeated right away. Because starting something new takes a lot of courage and I want it to be as enjoyable as possible. So this one, it was already put together like there were some bungees around it and it comes with a tool that makes it so easy to put the bungees on. Otherwise it like hurts your fingers putting them on and it can take forever. Another thing is the frame was already put together. So for example, like the one to fit one, you had to attach the frame, um, which it depends on how much that's important to you, but this one, you don't have to attach the frame, it's already put together. Another cool thing about this one is it's foldable. So there's safety keys here you would just pull out and then it would fold together, which is awesome if you're looking for one that you can store away. Another cool thing is it's light. So if you wanna go jump upstairs, you wanna go jump outside, that's one awesome thing. Another thing is the legs are screw on. So all three of these have screw on legs. This is the only one that doesn't. This is um, totally fine. It makes it a cheaper option, but it doesn't affect the jump at all. The only thing is you're just gonna wanna tighten the legs periodically, just because sometimes they'll start to squeak and you just wanna make sure it's safe. So all you have to do is tighten it. It's just like a screw for each leg. But it also makes it easier to store away because then you would just unscrew it and put it aside. So this one, price-wise, is around $110 if you're looking at the US Amazon store. So that is an amazing price for rebounders. They can range from, I feel like if you're getting one that's 70 to 80 bucks, you might wanna be a little careful. It might honestly suck, so you're just wasting your money. Whereas this one, you're still getting all the benefits and it's still usable. I bought a rebounder in the past that was $70 off of Amazon just to try it out when I went on vacation and I wanted to continue jumping but I couldn't even jump. It was like I was on the floor. So honestly, it's better to not spend the money. So this one here, $110, I feel like is the lowest you can get price-wise for a good rebounder. So how the jump works, it's, it's stiffer. That's one thing. So this is totally preference, but the B-can is a stiffer jump. So when I'm jumping, as you can see, my feet aren't coming up as high. As you'll see on the Acon later, it's very different. But again, preference. 
if you're starting out with rebounding, this could be okay because what we do is a lot of moves to the beat of the music. Whereas if you're getting more of a lower bounce, it might be harder for you. So this honestly makes the workouts easier. This you have to incorporate more muscles. But the other thing is this one is not as low impact as this one because the jump is much softer. So that's all the differences. But again, if you're just starting out, you haven't bought a rebounder yet, you can just spend $110 and just expect that that jump is stiffer. I've also had some people who've transitioned to not as stiff bounces and they didn't like it. So again, if you get used to it, you could prefer this as well. So that's one thing. But my fiance came down and tried it because I wanted another opinion. And he is a bodybuilder, so he's a heavier guy and he got more of a bounce with it. So he got more, I'm trying to put a lot of force into it, but he got more of a bounce. Um, so if you are lighter, you might wanna be careful. Another huge pro of this rebounder is a lot of them have the weight capacity of around 230 pounds, whereas this one is 400 pounds, so that's really cool. So just be aware of all of those tips, but honestly, if you're just getting a rebounder starting out, I recommend. All right, on to the next one. Again, I love how light it is. I can just throw it away. So we'll put it to the side. And next one, let's go over one, two, fit. So this one, again, it's pretty light. This one's bigger though, which is a pro. That's one thing with this one, is it's on the smaller side, but it's still big enough that you can do all the movements. This one is bigger, which is really nice. I'll show you. You have more space to move. So you have more space here and the jump is a little softer. So it's an in-between. It's not as stiff as this one, but it's definitely not as loose as this one. So as you can see here, I'm getting a little more bounce with it, but not a crazy amount. But one cool thing about this is it's really wide, so you have a lot of space. But the cons of this one is this one is a huge pain in the butt to put together. I just wanna be honest with you. Uh, you can get it off of Amazon, it's easy to order, but you just have to be careful because this is the one that's gonna be a struggle. You have to put the entire frame together, screw it on. I put together about three of these ones in my life, I think at least three, because my very first rebounder when I ordered from home was this one. I used it for two years, so again, if you want it, it's not, it's not the wrong one to get, but sometimes like the frames don't line up like you have to get a hammer to line it up the bungees are such a pain to put together they're still a tool but the tool isn't as good as that one um this one also comes with a pole so that's a t-bar so when you're jumping you have the support to move so if you're feeling uncomfortable that's really nice to have um but yeah the only thing is putting it together so i would just be careful with that the bounce is good um, the other thing is I've uh, talked to all of these companies in the past and I love all of them. One, two, fit. Uh, we collaborated in the past, but really we don't have any collaborations anymore. So again, this is just complete honesty with you is again, I've used it for two plus years, but once I discovered other rebounder brands, it wouldn't be my top pick. Um, the other thing is the price. So if you were to order this off of Amazon, it's around $180. Uh, so that's just the one thing that gets me is it's a beginner rebounder. I feel like it's a great one to start out with. When I first bought it, it wasn't that price. Um, so if you were to get this one or this one to spend an extra $70 for this one, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, the other thing is you could just spend a little more and get this one. So we're gonna go into that one next, but that's why I don't recommend this one too much anymore because it's still at that higher price, but it's more of a lower quality rebounder. Um, so that's just one thing. Whereas if you're going to put your money into it, you just want to make sure you get that quality. So on to the next one is leaps and rebounds. So put this one aside. Next one here, leaps and rebounds. So one thing I love about leaps and rebounds is the color of the bungees. So they come in so many colors. You can get green, pink, orange, blue, gray, if you want more of that neutral tone. But I love that because why not have your fitness equipment cute and fun? <laughs> so this is the leaps and rebound. They have a 40, four inch I think and then it's a 48 inch. I have the bigger one. If you're gonna get the bigger one, it costs more. The other thing is with this one, they have a T-bar. So I have that T-bar attachment, but you have to pay extra for it. Um, so again, depending on if you want that extra safety, you can or you cannot. But again, this one ranges from 200 to 250, depending on what size you get, that's US. So again, if this one's 180, this one's 200. That's just the thing to compare. But putting it together was a breeze. It was, it felt like a higher quality rebounder, but just for a much better price. So that's why I really love the leaps and rebounds. I just feel like you're getting a lot more for your money. 
um, but you're not at that range yet where you're spending like $500 for a rebounder. So I normally do recommend this one if you're starting out. I know it's a bigger price, whereas I just discovered this one. So depending on how like scared you are to try and if you're gonna stick with it, you could always get this one and then start off with that lower price, see if you like it, and then you can always upgrade as well. Or if you're feeling like, you know, this is for you and you want the better one, this is a great option. Or if you really know it's for you, you could always get this one too. We'll go into all of that, but that's just, it's, it depends where your budget is and how confident you are and how much you'll love rebounding. So again, I would say personally, great entry level one. If you're just nervous starting out, this one is great if you know you're gonna love it. Um, because again, more for your money, the quality is there, the color is there, uh, the brand just focuses on rebounders, so you know they're amazing at it. Or if you want a high-end one, then this is the one to get, but we'll go into that next. So Leaps and Rebounds, beautiful color, screw-on legs, so just like the other ones, you just want to make sure you tighten it periodically. You have the option to get that safety bar, and now the jump. So the jump here is... It's such a good mix, honestly. It's it's a mix in between all of them. So it's like a mix in between stiff and then a little more bounce. So as you can see, I'm bouncing up a little higher, but it's not as loose as the Acon. So again, remember the stiffer bounce, I would say the easier the workout is, but the less benefits you get of the rebounding. So again, this one's a great mix because it'll still be low impact. It's not like you're jumping on the floor. Whereas if it's stiff, it kind of just feels like you're jumping on the floor with a little bit of bounce, but this one you get a lot more. Honestly, it's just such a good mix. <laughs> Let's jump for a little bit. So again, the quality for the price, pretty crazy. But I have the bigger one here. So this is the 48 inch. There's also a smaller one. If you want the cheaper option, just beware that the size, that you won't have as much room to go laterally. The other thing with this one is it's really easy to store. You just unscrew the legs and then you just slip this off to the side. So that is the leaps and rebounds. And now next one, let's go into the Acon. Last one is the Acon. So this one is the one I use the most, honestly. Um, the price range is around 380 to $400 US. So today I'm talking all US prices, even though I'm Canadian, but that's what this range is from. Just to give you a comparable if we all use the same currency, but this one is just higher quality. So when I got it, you could just tell like the packaging, it was like an Apple package almost. It's just so beautiful. The quality is amazing. The brand again, just focuses on trampolines and rebounders. So they're really good at what they do. The other thing I love about this one is it's so aesthetic. So you can get it in white or black, and I have both. I actually have three Acons. I sound crazy, I have three Acons. I have this one, I have this exact one in black, and then I have this smaller circular one in white. I like it because I can just move it around. Um, but I have three of them. So this one, again, for the price. If you know you're gonna love rebounding and you have the budget, this, this one's amazing, honestly. The thing is the bounce is softer though. So the workout might be a little more challenging, but then you'll get all those rebounding benefits. So like when you're going in and out, you're just jumping higher. Like see how my knees come higher? So that's an amazing thing. Putting it together is a breeze. Uh, it comes with a tool. It's so easy to put together. It comes with a T-bar. Uh, you can get different packages. So like the $400 one would be this exact rebounder. So it comes with a T-bar. So it's not like you're adding that on for an extra fee. Um, comes with the mat, so the bungees are already attached here. All you have to do is loop it. Uh, you don't have to screw on the legs, the legs fit together, so you never have to worry about that. The only con with that is I would definitely recommend getting a rebounder, an Acon rebounder, if it's just gonna stay in one spot. So I kinda compare it to like a Peloton. You know, people have Pelotons in their house just for like the aesthetic. I know they use it too, but it's also aesthetic. So I find this is like that, like I have it on three different floors. Um, like I have it in my office in the background just because it's beautiful and then when I want to jump I just put it down jump on it So get an Acon if you're happy to leave it out sitting around But honestly, this one's my favorite if you want to go in order I would say Acon is my favorite then leaps and rebounds and then B can but again This one's great if you're just starting out so that one is again depending on where you are But my favorite personally for what I would jump is this one first then this one, then that one. So there is my honest opinion on every rebounder. I hope I helped you make your decision. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I am here for you for your rebounding journey. Uh, it was so exciting jumping on all of them and comparing them, but I just wanna be honest with you guys, give you my honest thoughts, let you know true prices, 
and I hope you can find one that fits in your budget because I promise you rebounding is so much fun uh, and we would love to have you a part of the Jumbo Jack community. <laughs> Thank you so much.